Okay, uh, this is going to be um, the beginnings of the boat, the John boat, 14-foot uh, John boat. Uh, a couple reasons I'm doing this. Um, one, I just like I just like to do it, <laughs> so it's selfish. But we're slow right now at work, so um, anyway. Um, the other thing is, um, I uh, always look for new products. Um, you know, I've looked for uh, a John boat that I can put back in my creek, and uh, it's a couple of things. One, they're either beat to crap and have you know leaks and this and that and everything, and they're reasonable, or or they're nicer and they're just expensive. Um, you know, like fifteen hundred bucks uh, to to look at a decent one. Um, Anyway, so I thought it'd be fun to build it. I'm going to do a video on the process, and uh, I'm no boat builder. Uh, I've built one kayak a long time ago. It was a lot of fun. Um, but I'm also doing this because if it works out, um, you know, we live in a coastal area, it may be a, um, a nice uh, a product that I can sell, uh, a kit, a uh, John Boat kit. Um, so... Uh, you know, because if I cut all the parts out for people and sell it to them, you know, they can, uh, you know, if, if they don't have a lot of tools, they can still uh, glass the thing together and, uh, you know, and it, it, whatever, you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, we'll take you along a few steps. Um, I took this plan from <clears throat> somewhere, I'm not going to say where, uh, and then I just drew some shapes um, and... Um, you know, we have the sides. We're going to have to make out of two pieces. We use a, um, a lap joint there and some glass to strengthen that. And then the, the bottom design. And once I get those together, um, you know, the transom and then the, uh, the seats and everything, that should be pretty simple. All that, we'll pretty much cut all that stuff by hand. But anyway, so I'm going to cut some parts for this thing and uh, go from there. Okay, um, what I've decided to make this thing out of um, is some 3 8 inch, um, it's a marine grade, actually it's not a marine grade, it's an exterior grade um, radiata pine uh, plywood. It's pretty lightweight. Um, when I built that uh, kayak up there, I used a very, very thin material because I wanted it to be real light. Um, this 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 boat here, I, I, I intend for um, it to be, you know, hopefully pretty durable. You know, something that uh, if we take care of can last a lifetime. So, anyway, I could have gone with a thinner plywood, um, uh, but I, I, it, I have a feeling it's going to sit. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have to move this thing around a whole lot. So, um, anyway, uh, we'll do uh, this one with this, and if it's too heavy or too bulky or too whatever we'll adjust uh, down the road but this is what we're going to use for this one okay our first couple pieces here all we're going to be doing is um, cutting uh, two blanks that I'm going to glue together and then we'll recut that once it's glued together um, into uh, the final shape Run the second piece uh, up, you know, face down. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to use a tripod to do this. Um, and we ran the first sheet face up. So when this uh, when this lap uh, this lap joint here, uh, they'll both be, uh, you know, the the same side of plywood will be facing up or down or whatever I choose. So um, we'll get that seamed up and go from there okay so essentially that's how that joint's going to work um, and I'm going to run a piece of fiberglass over the top of it got a piece of paper there so it doesn't stick to the bench um, and that's going to make about a five foot wide blank um, at the widest part this boat is almost uh, five feet wide um, so uh, it should be very stable <clears throat> Or look like hell, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see.
All right, now we're going to be cutting the sides, um, getting those pieces joined together, and uh, then we'll need one more piece for the bottom, and uh, then we'll be ready to start kind of putting it together. up the, uh, the sides um, we got the joints made to put them together and uh, now you can kind of basically see the shape there um, and uh, this piece is dried <clears throat> so I'll be able to go ahead and cut it very uh, very, very solid. Um, fiberglass is just a great, uh, great thing to, to work with, to learn how to work with. Very strong, very, uh, lots of different uses for it as far as repairs and whatnot. But uh, let's get these put together.
so I got the three pieces for the bottom cut out. Um, there's a piece there. Seam right there. Oops, right there, I mean. And then a seam right there. And then the front piece is made out of that blank that we made. So that's it. That's the shape. Um, looks like a John boat. Um, Anyway, so I'm going to glue it up right here on the CNC machine because my uh, bench over there has got the two sides drying. And uh, then tomorrow we'll start making it take shape, hopefully. All right. Uh, the, uh, the main piece has uh, uh, dried the seams and I flipped it over. I got it on a couple little, uh, um, bench it little benches. And so I'm going to start down there. I was going to use a technique called sewing, where you drill holes, uh, corresponding holes, um, in this piece and this piece, and you actually use wire and sew it up. But that, and that's how I did that because the plywood was so thin. Um, but I'm going to try and nail this. Start down there and just work it down with some small finish nails and see if I can't get this thing to form up. I may have to surface that on the CNC we can lay it up there and surface it if I need to make that thinner or anything thinner uh, at this point in order to get it to flex so I'm gonna start uh, trying to make it go together and we'll see what happens Alright, so far so good. I, I don't, you know, I mean, I'm not a boat builder, um, so I have no idea if this is going to come out right. Uh, it's getting a little bit harder towards the end as I make that curve. It looks like it's going to curve, so we're going to roll with it. The side's kind of angling in, which is not what I want, but uh, once I get this thing both sides on and I can spread it out with a stick or something, um, I'm hoping that it won't fall apart. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we're going to finish this one up and we'll get the other side on. Okay, I didn't show you me nailing that last bit because it's a family program <laughs> and I was cussing it. But anyway, threw that stack of molding on there to help bend it, but it, cur it looked like it took shape. I'm gonna put a few glass patches on there to hold it together good so I can flip this thing over because I need to see if this is gonna come out of it the way it's angled in. It's gotta be like this. So um, I'm gonna put on a few glass patches um, and then I'm gonna go uh, do some yard work. It takes a couple hours for those to dry and um, then I'm gonna flip this baby and see what happens. See if I can make it the shape that I want and uh, go from there okay I got it flipped over got it sitting flat down on the concrete it's up in the back a little bit um, and right about now is when I gotta determine I got those braces in there holding the holding the uh, hole out on the angle that um, you know that just looks good I have no idea it's almost like it right now it's a leap of faith probably what I'll end up doing is uh, is glass just the bottom get some bracing in it temporarily and uh, maybe just put it in the water you know um, anyway I don't want to go I mean fiberglass ain't cheap so I don't want to go too far um, you know without being able to test it somehow or another but um that's it. So it's 14 feet long. Um, it's about five foot wide, and um, you know that's kind of what it looks like so far. Um, I'll probably go ahead and cut the 
the transom pieces out and then the seat pieces and get those in uh, just so it'll be rigid enough to I need to stand it up somewhere so it gets out of the way uh, put it on the back burner for just a little bit until I can figure out how I'm gonna water test it but anyhow uh, that's it for now <laughs>